We're at Workers United uh, headquarters with a wonderful bunch of volunteers getting ready for the centennial of the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire, March 25th, 2011, 100 years later. We're making shirtwaists and sashes to remember the 146 victims of the fire. These shirtwaists and sashes will be part of a procession that is part of the commemoration that will happen at the actual site of the factory building in Washington Place in Green Street. We're being very careful here today, counting and making sure that every name is represented. And uh, we've had volunteers that you see here right now uh, who have made these shirtwaists and also have lettered these sashes, and each sash is the name of someone who died in the fire. And we've added the purple and black uh, ribbon, mourning ribbon on the edges. My family's 100 years in East Harlem. Uh, my Italian immigrant uh, grandparents immigrated there. And I, I knew what it was like for them to work in factories. And I was touched to find out that 10 women who lived in East Harlem worked in the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory. And I think everybody here feels like I do. We feel entrusted with these names and honoring these people. It was the worst workplace disaster in the city of New York prior to 9-11. And the significance of the fire today uh, is really uh, how we deal with workers' safety. And uh, uh, we would like to think that the people need to remember the Triangle Fire because uh, we're very, uh, very concerned that the issues of worker safety are not forgotten. We've taken the garment industry in this country and we've exported it. Uh, it's now, uh, if you buy garments, they generally don't come from the United States. They're made in overseas in China, in Bangladesh, in, and there was a fire that was eerily similar to the Triangle Fire just last December. It's important to remember this today because we are seeing a hundred years later how uh, there is an attempt to take away the rights of workers to be represented by unions. You take a look at what's going on in Wisconsin where, where the governor is trying to remove collective bargaining rights from state workers. You see other initiatives in other states. And, and you wonder, it's a hundred years later, and what has changed? Workers need to have advocates for their safety. And the only institutions that would advocate for workers then and now are labor unions. Hopefully the focus of this, of this country will be on a Washington uh, place in Green Street Friday so that they can get a better understanding of, of, of what their rights are and why they should not f forget that they have rights and that's why we want them to remember the Triangle Fire.